What's up guys? Today we have a full body training session. Today's a volume day and it's a workout that's largely inspired by the training program Naturally Enhanced by Alexander Leonidas. I started running that program about a year ago and I've slowly kind of made it into my own thing but it's still somewhat similar. It's still a two times a week full body training program. So today was centered largely around the 10 by 3 idea and for those of you that don't know 10 by 3 is generally just supposed to be the inverse of a 3 by 10 so you don't go up in weight you use the same weight you would for 10 reps but each set is just three reps and what this does is it allows you to use maximum force production on each rep each rep can be more technically sound because you're not as fatigued during each set and it just kind of gives you a little bit more strength gains I think it's been proven to to do in the long run and the main reason I did this today well there were two main reasons first off uh, the heat wave hit and it was just so hot that and I don't have AC in my place my windows are too small and I'm not gonna pay for one of those little air conditioners so uh, I I just didn't have the energy to go through a set of 10 I would just gas out so I figured 10 sets of three it's a good way to do it and I also, I'm in the unique position to, uh, whereas most people are spending their time trying to get more out of less weight, trying to stay away from overtraining, uh, all these good things that are good for most people. Personally, I, the way it's set up, I have kind of a strange work schedule where I work 312s or 314s, I should say, uh, plus driving a week. And sometimes it just lines up that I'm not going to be able to get a training session for another three or four days. And so for me, sometimes I try to push myself into that overtraining place. And that might sound a little counterintuitive, but if I have three or four days to recover, I mean, why not, right? The super compensation, all that, I believe in it. So it's been working for me and this happened to be one of those times. So rather than using the, the recommended three by 10 weight, so the weight I could do for 10, 10 reps, I used more of a weight I could do for five or six. So. It was a little bit heavier and like I said, this is going to possibly overtrain you if you're doing so much volume with a heavy weight. But if you're in this position, it, it just works out well. So that's what I did today. That's what it was all focused on. I started off with some uh, squat press, uh, overhead press with a push press and then a little squat at the bottom. I think it's a squat jerk. I'm not, I haven't really done them before. I just thought I'd give it a try. It went pretty well and I did 10 sets of three of that supersetted with the snatch grip high pull. And I did use a little bit lighter weight for the snatch grip high pulls just because I had been increasing my weight in the past and I got to a point where I just wasn't producing as much power and I feel like that is the main thing with snatch grip high pulls. You wanna keep that force output high. So it was a little bit lighter there. I then moved on to a very lightweight bench press. And as you can see, there was like barely any weight on the bar. And the reason for this is I was trying the 10 by 10 with 20 seconds rest and I knew you were supposed to use super light weights. So I did. And honestly, I, I think the weight was so light that I kept sliding out of position. It was hard to like the, the force production was so high that it was hard to stay in position. So I was able to complete that without much too, without too much effort. And my pecs did get pretty sore. So that was good, but I'm definitely going to increase the weight next time. And then I moved on to the posted Meadows row, just a good variation, get some volume in the back. Uh, I didn't do supersets for those second push and pull like I normally do, just because I wanted to try that low rest method for the bench. So I got five sets of 10 with the per arm for the uh, Meadows row. And then I moved on to the Zercher lift, uh, straight from the ground all the way up and back down. And like I did a weight that I was going to hit for 12 reps. That's that was what I was supposed to hit today, but it was just so hot that I just did. I think I did 10 by three for that also, and it went well. I bar kept slipping. I was using an axle and it's just so hot. I think it was 95 in the in this room. So it's pretty difficult. Uh, went on to some Lou raises, doing some band crunches, some of these alternating oblique crunches again, something I really like doing. And just finished off from there, I gotta say it's the first time in about a year I didn't hit all my accessories. It was just so hot. I skipped my curls and extensions, but it's okay to do it every once in a while. I don't recommend it, but I was just beat at this point. 
Finish off with the neck work, it's always necessary. Definitely makes you look a lot different and I honestly just feel better when I do it. And that's the session. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.